Now let us start the next chapter, menstruation. So in the topic menstruation, we deal with the perimeter and area of the simple chloral figures. So what is a simple chloral figure? A chloral figure bounded by line segments. Now this is a simple chloral figure. Then if it consists of three sides, it is called a triangle. And if it consists of four sides, then it is called a quadrilateral. So any simple chloral figure has two parts means one is perimeter and the other is area. So your perimeter means the total length of the simple chloral figure along its boundary is called the perimeter and area means the amount of the region bounded by the simple chloral figure is called its area. So the amount of this whole region occupied by the chloral figure is called its area. So first let us learn about the perimeter of simple chloral figure such as equilateral triangle, square, rectangle so and some regular polygons. Then after we learn about the area of the simple chloral figures. Now let us see the perimeter of any chloral figure. The total length of any simple chloral figure along its boundary is called its perimeter. The total length of the any simple chloral figure along its boundary is called its perimeter. Then what are the situations from our day to day life where we have to find the perimeter of any simple chloral figure. For example, if a farmer wants to fence his land along its boundary, so then here we need to find the perimeter of his, his land. Or uh, if a constructor can, wants to construct the compound wall along around its around his building so even in this case also we need to find the perimeter so then for example if a land is in the shape of a triangle A, B, C and the length of the three sides are given as 15 centimeters, 12 centimeters and 10 centimeters. Then perimeter of this triangle is AB plus BC plus CA. So this equals to 15 plus 12 plus 10 equals to 15 plus 12, 27 plus 10, 37 centimeters. Now if any plural figure is in the shape of a quadrilateral, so then here also we have to find some of the lengths of all the four sides. Now if any simple plural figure is just formed by the line segments, but it is not even in the shape of a triangle, or a quadrilateral. So then how to find the perimeter of this chloral figure formed by the line segments. So here also we must know the length of each line segment. So that is here 6 centimeters for example here 5 centimeters and it is 11 centimeters A, B, C, D, E, F. And here BC is 4 cm and AF is 7 cm 
and D is 10 centimeters. So then we have to find the sum of the lengths of all the sides such as AB plus BC plus CD plus DE plus EF plus FA. Then we will get its perimeter. Now let us find the perimeter of a rectangle. A rectangle is a quadrilateral in which both the pairs of opposite sides are parallel and equal and all the four angles are right angles. So it is the opposite sides are equal. Now A, B, C, D. So if A, B is represented by L then even DC also represented by the same letter L centimeters and if BC is B then AD also B. Now perimeter of rectangle P equals to AB plus BC the sum of the lengths of the four sides so then we write AB plus BC plus CD plus DA. So then AB is L plus BC is B plus CD is L plus DA is also B. So then here we have two lengths. So L plus L plus two beds B plus B. So then by adding two L's we get two L plus two B. So if you take two common so 2 of L plus B. So perimeter of rectangle formula P equals to 2 of length plus breadth. So if you know the length and breadth of any rectangle then we can find its perimeter by substituting the values of length and breadth in this formula. So the perimeter of rectangle is 2 of length plus breadth. Now let us find the perimeter of regular shapes. So perimeter of regular shapes. What is a regular closed figure? So regular closed figure means a figure in which all the sides and all the angles are equal is called a regular closed figure. So if you take an equilateral triangle, so it consists of three sides and all the three sides are equal and even all the three angles are also equal. So it can be considered as a regular closed figure. And if you take the four sided figure, four sided closed figure that is a, a square. So in a square also all the four sides are equal and also all the four angles are equal. So then a square is also considered as the regular closed figure. So we can write a figure in which all the sides and all the angles are equal is called a regular closed figure. Now, if you take the equilateral triangle, so it is a regular closed figure and if you write the length of each side as L, then the perimeter of equilateral triangle
equals to length or uh, first we will write a b plus b c plus c a so this equals to l plus l plus l so this equals to 3 l so perimeter of equilateral triangle is 3 l 3 into length of each side now if you take the square A square in which all the sides are equal. Square means a quadrilateral in which all the four sides and four angles are equal. So, now if length of each side is denoted by L. So then perimeter of square P equals to PQ plus QR plus RS plus SP. So the sum of the lengths of all the four sides. So then we get L plus L plus L plus L. As all the sides are equal. So then we write L. Then here four L's are added, so we write 4L. So the perimeter of a square is 4L. 4 into length of each side. Now if you take a regular hexagon, So here also if you denote the length of each side by L, here four, six sides are equal and even six angles are equal. So the perimeter of regular hexagon P equals to L plus L plus L plus L plus L plus L. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 L's are added. So then P equal to 6 into L. So the perimeter of regular hexagon is 6 into length of each side. So we can find the formula. We can derive the formula to find the perimeter of any regular shape. Either it is 3 sided figure or it is 4 sided figure or it is 5 sided figure or it is 6 sided figure. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.